most of what we call taste is really flavor. It's about 80% due to your olfactory system. When you chew food up, you send vapors up the backside of your palate onto your nasal epithelium, we call it, and the, the cells in your nose, which smell it. We don't smell something and remember a page of text or a phone number, a formula, anything useful like that. We always have these emotionally laden memories. Your grandmother's kitchen, your first lover, uh, the first day of school. The reason that seems like they're often from long ago is that um, those are the ones that are most uh, remarkable to us. That, oh my God, I haven't thought of grandma's house in 40 years and all of a sudden there it was when there's a, an event of some high emotional um, valence then in your brain in your olfactory system there's a squirt of what we believe to be adrenaline but we're not positive that that's the only thing or that it's the transmitter that's working but it seems to be an adrenaline uptick if you will and that seems to somehow or another strengthen the memory of that moment people who have lived together for a long time, partners who have had a long relationship together, and when one of them dies, the last thing that the surviving partner will get rid of is the clothing. Because they find that if they go stand in the closet and smell the clothes, there's a sense of presence, a sense of the person still somehow or another being there. Alzheimer's patients or patients suffering from forms of dementia where they have trouble forming new memories but where old memories still exist and so you can treat them to odors that would be part of their old um, their older life as it were their past life perfumes they wore foods they cooked and so give them some sense of memory and some sense of identity uh, or renew some sense of identity in them by doing this the other is whether or not it might relate to PTSD some of these memories are similar in some ways to PTSD, post-traumatic stress syndrome, where in the case of olfactory memories, a simple smell or a taste will bring back this memory quite vividly. In the case of PTSD, it's maybe a loud noise or something else, but we think the mechanisms are somewhat similar. With memory, it's important to remember not only how you remember something, but it's important to understand how you forget something. Forgetting is quite as important as memory, remembering often.